Good morning guys and uh, this uh, starts December and what I'm going to do is a Dutch pour um, and there's a series of colors I'm using here. I'm using Amsterdam's Light Gold, uh, Metallic Green by Artist Loft, Lamp Black by Amsterdam. I'm using one of my favorite colors, Prussian Blue, uh, sorry, Prussian Green by Arteza. I also have Hooker's Green um, by Liquitex, and then I'm using a yellow, yellowish green by Amsterdam. My base is Amsterdam Titanium White, and I mixed it with a little bit of Iridescent Pearl Fine by Golden. So we're gonna see how this works out. Um, with the greenish, uh, the yellowish green by Amsterdam, I also mixed in a little bit of the color shift green um, by Folk Art. So we will see how that works out. Mm. Let me get the paints out of the way. All my paints are mixed with water. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some paint on the canvas, not the whole canvas though. Um, and you'll see that when we come back. All right, so we're back. I coated most of the canvas. I left open spots in the middle. Um, and what we're gonna do is, I'm wondering if that was even a good idea. I'll do a little here. Just gonna spread it out with my hands. I don't want to blow it out anywhere. All right. So that's that. We'll see if this is going to work. What I want to do is a Christmas tree. Um, and we're gonna start at the bottom and work our way up. So probably like that. At least that's somewhat of a guide for me. And we're gonna start with this and I'll want to blow out each layer individually or each string of branches individually of the black that is just to add for um, a little bit of depth I'm not sure if it'll work but we'll see and so with my Yeho pink hair dryer you can find it in the Amazon shop uh, below in my video description box um, it's right in my acrylic pouring uh, materials uh, link. So check for that if you want this handy um, little hair dryer. It works miracles. So let's see what we do. There we go. And then we're gonna work our next series of colors here. I think what I'm gonna do is go with the black first. There we go. Backwards. 
parts of this one, I think. seems to spread more than the others. Let's see if we can keep this up. So this will be, that's all I'm going to do. And it's okay to have um, some of the white in there. I won't leave as much as, um, as much space on that at the next round of colors. I'll continue on my way with doing it this way. And I just love this Prussian green by Arteza. <clears throat> there are quite a few of Arteza's colors that I'm quite enamored with. Here with the metallic green, add a little something extra, and I think I'm gonna do another few drops of the black. All right, I'll be super psyched if this works. I put some over there to let it flow. The hard part is going to be up here. <laughs> All right, here we go. here in just a few minutes and see all right so what I think what we're gonna do now is start with the hookers green might be really high up here so I really gotta bring this in at this point details to it when it's done.
It looks so cute. Mm. <laughs> I really am too wide and I'm not sure how we're going to bring that in. It'll be a stout tree. extra green here because this is really dark in here and I want a little bit more of con contrasting colors. And I'm a little bald here with the white so we're going to come in with some white so it can flow over. Gonna run right off. Hmm. Okay, we'll see.
All right, so I think I'm done. Um, I'm gonna bring you guys in in a minute, so I'm just gonna bring out some wispies here. Because no tree is perfect, obviously. Interesting, all that happened in here, but that's that's okay. We'll see figure out how to fix that. Um, so I'm gonna bring you guys in in just one moment. I'm gonna do some touch-ups and we'll go from there. Okay, so here we are. And what I did actually off screen is in this area, you can see a little bit different colors. Um, and I took the titanium white and I drizzled some across. And then I took the Golden's um, Iridescent Pearl Fine and I just took it across the, the area and then I blew it out to give that somewhat snow feeling. So I'm really interested to see how that dries. Um, but here is the tree and I think it came out pretty good. I've never done one and um, I just felt the need to do one this morning. It isn't perfectly in the center of the um, canvas and I get that way sometimes, but uh, we are going to just leave it be, um, maybe let it dry and then I'll put in some details and go from there. So, uh, We'll probably have another video after this in detailing and making changes and embellishing this piece. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm excited about this one. We'll see how it dries.